radiocarbon dating does not measure time in real years and it measures time in a scale that we call radiocarbon years. That needs to be really kept in mind at all times, that we're not measuring real time when we measure radiocarbon uh, dates. We're getting a, a, a fault scale in that sense. What's amazing actually is that this radiocarbon scale works as well as it does for most of the time that we know. It's not very far off in comparison to real years but it's sufficiently far off in a number of circumstances that it causes real troubles in archaeological interpretation. One of the things, one of the major um, uh, achievements over the last 20 years approximately has been, perhaps it's longer than that, I'm probably just forgetting, one of the major achievements has been to work out a mechanism by which we can calibrate, we can correlate the radiocarbon time scale together with the calendar years that we are so used to using. That's been done by radiocarbon dating a very large numbers of known age tree rings. And from that work, we, uh, that work has taken place on the west coast of North America, in Seattle, and in, in uh, Belfast, in Ireland, and places like that. From that work, we have a global calibration by which we can take a known radiocarbon age and then calibrate it to get from that a real calendrical age.